Hi everyone, welcome back to the Spice Chronicles kitchen. Today what I want to talk and show you through is how to make my onion ring pakoras or Bengali style onion rings. This is a very simple, very addictive recipe. It is a recipe from the Bengali Five Spice Chronicles. Um, you also have the recipe on my blog. It's the Onion rings are both vegan and gluten-free. They, in fact, are great by themselves because they have a whole bunch of very interesting spices. Now, while they are simple, you need to follow a few rules to make sure that you get them crisp, you don't get them overly greasy, and they are fun to enjoy. So what obviously I have here is a big onion. I like to use these white large onions. They have a little bit of sweetness and they are large enough for me to make sizable onion rings with. So you want the tops off. And then you remove the layers. That's how you get the rings. And then the center is where you get your best rings from. The important thing here when you're cutting it, you want to cut it through and you want to cut it evenly. That's all you need to do while cutting this. See? Now that's a nice big fat circle. And you're carefully peeling the layers of the onion here. And these are my onions all ringed up. So what I have here is besan or chickpea flour. I like to whisk it to make sure I'm removing. All. And what I like to add is some rice flour. So I'm mixing the two. What the rice flour does is it adds crispness to the batter. And here, I'm adding in turmeric. I'm adding in cayenne pepper. I'm adding in cumin seeds. And an interesting ingredient, which is very Bengali, is nigella seeds. So this is what all the spices look like and now I am mixing them up. And before I add in water, I am going to add in salt. And what you want is to get a batter that's about medium thick, not too thin, not too thick. So I'm adding in what? And you want to whisk this. It needs to, I'm adding in a little more water because you shouldn't struggle to whisk a pakora batter. I mean, yes, it's all smooth and what have you, but you do not want much resistance. So look at that color and see the consistency. It should drop easily, but not be too viscous. So since we are dealing with frying, it is very important to get the oil just the right temperature. It cannot be too hot because then your pakoras will fry up too quickly. And if it is not hot enough, they will be soggy. Um, what I like to use for frying is a cast iron skillet or cast iron wok. The reason for this is while cast iron does take a little bit of time to get hot, it holds its heat nicely. This is always good for frying because you can get uniform consistent results. So now I've been heating this for a while. I have about one and a half cups of neutral canola oil here. You want an oil that's not overly flavorful and you want something with a high smoking point. 
So let me check with a teeny bit of batter how we are doing. See now that's what I want happening. I want my pakoras and batter to bounce up, to float up and we are in business. I take these out because you don't want them getting overly crisp. Now a fork is a very good idea with these onion rings because what you want is to be able to coat them to be able to shake off any excess batter and let us see I'm draining off excess batter and let us pop this in and let us See, other than the color and it crisping up, would you, you know, all that spluttering, that is the water in the batter, you want it reducing. That basically tells you that it's getting cooked and it's crisping up. And the second thing that tells you that it's getting there is the side that is not exposed to oil is beginning to firm up. Because what's really happening, what it's telling you is that the heat is penetrating from the bottom and going through and heating the surface that's not directly in contact with the oil. You don't want to turn it too soon. However, at this point, I think I'm comfortable if I do turn it that it will not burn. And now can you see when I turned it you're hearing a lot more spluttering because there is water on the other side of the batter. And this is what these look like up close and personal.